Namaste, this is Dr. Karishma Ahuja. Do we often wish we could influence others? Do you often find yourself asking yourself how I could influence someone, how I could change someone, how I could change this person's thoughts, how I could bring about a transformation in somebody else? If these are the questions you've asked yourself, if these are questions you've often struggled to find answers for, then do watch this video. You see, very often we try our best to influence others. We want to correct them. We want to show them the right path. We know that there is something they need to do and change. But how many times we have spoken to them and yet not succeeded? Maybe thousands of times we have tried to redirect their thoughts, change their thoughts, influence them, talk to them. But nothing seems to be working. Well, if that's the case with you as well, then let me share a little story with you because this story will bring out a very important moral and lesson for us which will give us an answer to that missing gap that is not allowing another person to change in spite of our good intentions. This story is from the life of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa. See, once a couple went to Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa and uh, they shared their problem with him. Their problem was that they had a young child of six years but this child had become very very naughty and this child would often suffer from stomach problems because he was in the habit of having too many sweets. Now in spite of warning the child, shouting the child, correcting the child lovingly, nothing seemed to have worked and the doctors that were treating this child you know, went on to say that if this boy does not stop, then he is going to have bigger problems in the future. So they were very upset. They did not know how to handle this child who used to throw so many tantrums and who had become so difficult to handle. So with this intention of getting a solution to their problem, they go to Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa. And once they share their problem with them, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa hears the problem and then tells them to come back after 15 days. So this couple with a lot of hope bring the child after 15 days and Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa talks to the child and after a few days the parents come back along with the grandparents to thank Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa that they are already seeing some big changes in the child. The child has begun to listen to the parents so there was one question that the grandmother asked Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa. She says, Master, if you could have corrected him 15 days ago when we first came with him, then this poor child would have not suffered for 15 days more. If you would have corrected him at that time itself, this child would have spoiled his stomach less and it would have been less trouble for us. So lovingly Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa replies, Mother, if I would have spoken to this child 15 days back, my words would have lacked power and conviction and you would have not seen any positive change in this child. What happened was, I gave up sweets myself. I had to first discipline my own self. I wanted to walk the talk before I correct this child. And that was the lesson he taught us. You see, example is not the best way to teach others, it is the only way. If you want to correct or influence anyone, most important thing is, are you yourself disciplined? You correct them in one aspect, but you show your weakness yourself in another aspect. What then happens, as Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa explained to this lady is, your words will lack power. That ability to influence others will only come when you yourself are living a disciplined, worthy life. And when that happens, you will not have to speak hundreds of words. You will say a few words and they will begin to listen. You will be able to impress their subconscious mind only when you yourself come from a sense of power. So my dear friends, if there is some weakness you notice in another person, before you go and correct them, first work on some weakness that you yourself have. If you do this, like Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa declared, you will be able to automatically influence others without force, without struggle. 
because you see people pick up our energy people absorb the energy behind our words more than the words themselves so let's try to do this let's try to work on our own selves let's walk the talk first and only then will we be able to be a positive influence on others i hope you enjoyed this video like and share this video with others and subscribe to this channel for more relationship tips techniques and tools this is dr karishma ahuja wishing you all the very best namaste